Hello guys, my name is Matthew and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can in, uh, integrate QuickBooks with Microsoft Excel. First things first, we have to log into our QuickBooks account or create one. And as you can see and discover more, you can import your data from Excel straight away. So that's one option that uh, we can use or go to apps and write down Excel. But I believe it's uh, already just for importation. But if you want to integrate it uh, through third party app, let's go to automate.eo. I will leave the link in the description underneath this video and go to integration on the top part of your screen and then slide down and see all categories. Once we are here, we can pick from 200 more apps, but we want to start with QuickBooks like this. Once we uh, choose QuickBooks, let's go to the opposite side, to the integrations, and uh, write down Microsoft Excel. Straight away, as you can see, automate.eo is providing us with some popular integrations, but if we won't be able to find the one that we are looking for, let's scroll down and go to create your own integration. Just remember, on the left side, underneath the triggers, you want to start with uh, QuickBooks. So there's a couple of options for you. On the right side, underneath the actions, you want to scroll down and pick from three options from Microsoft Excel. Let's keep, stick to the first one. Now all we have to do is just click on Try It Now button and we'll, we'll get asked to, uh, to log in to your uh, account at automate.eo and you're a few clicks away from finishing this integration. We can also use zapier.com once we create account here, let's go to the top left part of our screen and click on Create Zap. Zap stands for integration. We can name our Zap like QuickBooks to Excel, for example. And let's start with the integration itself. First, the trigger. It works quite the same like it works at Automate. Let's write down QuickBooks online trigger event as you can see still a lot of options continue and now we have to log into the account that we created a few moments ago so let's go and choose this one and now we can test the trigger let's go to the second action the second action is actually as you probably thought provided by microsoft excel uh, now let's pick the let's pick the action. Let's stick to the first one. We hit continue, and the last thing is we have to con uh, we have to log in or sign in to Microsoft Excel account. So that's about it. Thanks for watching, and see you on the next video.